The operating panel on the document camera will let you switch sources, capture images, review the saved images. You can also adjust the level of brightness by pressing the brightness buttons down here. To capture an image, you'll press the camera button. To view the image, you'll press the play button here. Then your images will be displayed. You can scroll through the images by using the brightness buttons. Press the button in the center to select the image and it will be displayed. To come back to the live document camera image, you'll press the document camera button. And if you're connected to a computer, you'll press the computer button and you'll see your computer desktop. When you're ready to come back to the live document camera image, press the document camera button. Now, the button in the center has a picture of an hourglass on it. That will pause the image when you press it. So now if you have your text or a report or a student's work, you can set it here, press that pause button, and then you or the student can go ahead and pick up the textbook or the report and you can begin reading it to the class and the rest of the class can follow along behind you or the student. And then to unpause, you'll just press the same button. You can press the menu button for additional features. When you press this, you'll see some icons come up. You'll then use the buttons on the document camera here to move the cursor. You can choose the highlight to adjust the darkness of the highlight box. You can make it darker or lighter. You can also change the size of the box depending on what you're going to be highlighting. You can change the settings on the mask. You can set the zoom on the scroll. You can set the default to be two times, three times, or four times zoom. With compare picture, you can compare the saved image on the SD card to the live image. Picture in picture is similar to compare picture. When I select that, it shows the live image and the saved image from my SD card. I can even switch these places if I go to change window. Then my live image is minimized and you can see the still image. The mosaic feature will help you engage your students. You can set something under the document camera and then you will be able to show more detail and let them try to guess what is under the camera. Also in the menu, you can change the camera controls and in the preferences submenu, you can select where you'd like your images and your videos to be saved, either the SD card or the USB flash drive.